Destiny Lachey. Today I'm just coming to you guys with a royal blue smoky eye. I did use some of my new palettes from BH Cosmetics, which I absolutely love. They're so pigmented and they show up so pretty on my skin. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So let's get started. I start off with my eyeshadow primer my shadow insurance by Too Faced I put that all over my lid and now I'm just taking a beauty blender and blending that out so it's a little bit more even and now I am taking this smolder eyeliner pencil I believe it's by Mac and I'm putting that all over my lid as a base for my smoky eye and now I am taping off the outside of my eye so that I have a more precise line now I'm going back to putting my Smolder liner all over my lids as a base and you do want to blend this out. Use like a fluffy brush so it will blend really well so that your eyeshadow will stick to this. Um, it sounds weird and looks weird that black makes blue eyeshadow pop but it really does. Usually the darker the eyeshadow you want to use a black base, the brighter the eyeshadow like pinks and uh, greens you want to use a white eyeshadow base it really all depends on the look that you're going for but that's generally how I do mine now I'm just kind of smoking the black up into my crease area using that same blending brush I believe this is a MAC blending brush too and you just want to blend into the crease now I'm just taking MSF and dark and putting that as my highlight I'm um, taking my new BH Cosmetics palette in that little like light brown color and putting that into my upper crease as my transition color. This will make our smoky eye a little bit more smoky and it will act as a transition color so your eyeshadow won't look like it's just in one spot if you get what I'm saying. Um, it'll look more blended. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. And now I'm taking Red Brick and Saddle by MAC and putting that in my crease area just to warm up the look a little bit. Um, usually with a smoky eye, especially on my skin tone, I want it to be a little bit more warm in the crease area uh, because it just looks better. I have almost a mono lid, so um, I just like to make them look a little bit more warm it's just my preference you can use whatever transition color or crease color you'd like but this is like a burnt red color and a light brownish color that matches my skin tone and now I'm just taking carbon by Mac and putting that all over my lid kind of blending the the crease color and the black color together to make it look even more smoky. I'm not going above my crease. I'm just kind of making the black a little bit more dark. And I'm just doing the other eye as well and I'm taking a fluffy brush, that same MAC fluffy brush that I use to blend out the eye pencil and just adding carbon for more dark color. And I'm just blending that out. I didn't want to fast forward this look for you guys just because I want you to see, you know, all the steps and how long they actually do take. <laughs> and this was going to be um, a talk through, but seriously guys, I can't do talk throughs. Like, it's really hard, believe it or not, to talk and do your makeup at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry. I did take a clean blending brush and blend the black and the transition colors together. Now I'm taking that blue from the Smoky Palette from BH Cosmetics and putting that all over my lid with a flat eyeshadow brush and just putting that all over the black color not in my crease but all over the lid now I'm taking this baked um, eyeshadow from the Galaxy Palette by BH Cosmetics and putting that all over my, all over my lid <laughs> I can't talk all over my lid to hype up the blue color it looks so pretty and I'm just doing that to the other lid. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how I do my liner. You already know how I do it. Um, I use a wet and wild liner. I just line my um, eyelids and everything. So now I am 
taking a blending brush, a clean blending brush, and just blending the blue and my crease color together. So I'm kind of bringing the blue color up towards my crease so that it looks a little bit more subtle in there and it will blend and look a lot better. Because you don't want that line of demarcation, you want to blend the lines out. So that's what I'm doing. I don't even know why I mentioned liner because that wasn't the next clip, but whatever. <laughs> So you just blend that out. And I'm just blending the other eye out as well. I believe that's a Sigma brush. Um, I don't know, it's some Sigma blending brush. E45, E35, something like that, I'm not sure. But I'll try to link it down below. And I'm just putting a little bit more of that shimmery blue all over my lid. And as you guys can see, I've already done my liner like I mentioned before. I'm not going to show you how I did that. Um, but now I'm just curling my lashes. This is the Sally Hansen Curler. I love this curler. And then I'm just um, putting on mascara. I applied my lashes already. Not going to show you guys how to do that. But basically, that's the finished look. I highlighted, contoured, and did my makeup. Cleaned up a little bit. And that was the end of that. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.